Guys, today we're gonna put some clippers to the test. I have all these clippers. These are adjustable blade clippers. This is a detachable blade clipper. This is Old Faithful. These adjustable blade clippers are becoming the thing everybody is gravitating towards in dog grooming for full grooms. And can they do it? Yes, they can. But I'm gonna show you that there are limitations. There are differences in the work that they produce and the amount of time that it takes this type of clipper to produce pleasing results. And the amount of time it takes this type of clipper to produce pleasing results. But not just that, it's ease of use, it's what the longevity of each clipper is. You can spend $180 to $200 on one of these clippers. You can spend $245 on a clipper like this or $200 on the corded version. This one's going to last you forever, really these they won't you can't replace any of the parts in these the reason why i'm doing this is because we're just going to compare the ability to give a thick coated golden doodle a full haircut does this have the ability all three of these the joy z hornet the kenchi flash 5 and the kenchi flash does it have the ability to produce the same results it may not be in the same amount of time this one is probably definitely gonna get you there faster. This is a test to see, does it have the ability? I'm going to be using a quarter of an inch guard comb on all of the clippers today. A quarter of an inch guard comb on the A5 clipper, and this same quarter of inch guard comb. It's made for adjustable blade clippers. This is the Kenshi stainless steel guard comb set made for 501 clippers. This one same guard comb is going to work on the Joy Z Hornet 501 clipper. It is going to work on the Kenchi Flash 5, same guard comb. This is the Kenchi Stainless Steel 5-in-1 blades and is also gonna work on the Kenchi Flash, the original Kenchi Flash. The only difference in using it with these, you must purchase the specific 30 blade made by Kenchi for this clipper only that raises this distance and gives it the ability to be compatible with the Kenchi stainless steel five in one guard combs. I'm going to first show you how it behaves on a coat that has not been bathed or conditioned yet because that's a true test. And typically we do not trim dogs before they're bathed, conditioned, brushed and dried. But I'm gonna show you this because I want you to see the struggles that the one clipper may have versus the other. I'm just gonna test it. Then I'm gonna bathe, condition, dry, brush my dog. And then we are going to test all those four clippers with a quarter inch guard comb on this coat clean and prepared and ready for clipping. You know, as a professional groomer, and I always tell you whether you're grooming your dog at home or if you're a beginner groomer, it's best to never use a clipper or a guard comb on a coat that hasn't been properly brushed, bathed, conditioned, and dried. So that's the prerequisite to clipping. But some people like to do a little pre-trimming because your dog may have an abundance of coat. If it's matted, you're not going to get these guard combs through the coat at all. You won't. We're gonna do the test, but before I can test them, I do need to brush and comb him out. I like to use Quicker Slicker. You all know that I love this product. I don't like to brush a dry coat. This will help me brush him out easier and it's gonna help me remove the dead coat that needs to come out that will cause my clipper to not produce good work. We wanna thoroughly brush our dogs before I would try to slide these guard combs through the coat. Okay, so now he's brushed out. This is the reason I pre-brushed Gus, especially since we're gonna try these clippers on a dirty coat. It's harder for a clipper to get through it. The coat's tacky, it's, it's stuck together. But this is all the dead hair. He's a non-shedding breed. This is the dead hair that was in his coat that would have caused those clippers to fail. It wouldn't be the clippers, it's my prep work that was failing the clipping. We took that out of the scenario. However, we are gonna try to be clipping a heavy, thick coated doodle with a dirty coat first. Then I'm gonna bathe, condition, dry them, and we're gonna see how they perform in a clean coat. I can get a comb through. I have to be able to get a comb through my dog's coat in order for a stainless steel guard comb teeth to be able to get through the coat. You know, that has to be able to get through it. The fur has to travel through here to this cutting blade or it won't be able to cut. First one, we're gonna go for the Joy Z Hornet. This is an adjustable blade clipper. We're gonna set it to a 10. All my blades are sharp, cleaned, and oiled. So we're gonna slide that guy on there. I'm gonna do a little area because I would like to test him afterwards too when he's clean. So I'm gonna turn it, turn it on high, why not?
goes through a dirty coat pretty nicely. I'd say that's a win. Now let's see what the wall KM10 does with a quarter inch stainless steel guard comb on high. Dirty coat. I will tell you it actually glides through it real fast with no resistance. I'm feeling for resistance. I got a little bit of resistance in the hornet. Not much. Not much to complain about. So the wall KM10. This is the wall KM cordless. It was effortless. I would say absolutely effortless. We're going to continue on. We're going to put the same quarter inch that I used on the Hornet on the Kenji Flash 5. Position it all the way down in place. I'm on speed three. Why don't we go to four? Just, it goes to five speeds. Let's see what happens. I'm going to tip my dog's head down so I get a nice smooth clip. Oh, it's snagging right there. All right. It's not really the clipper. I will clean and oil this blade. First, I'm going to brush any clippings out of there that may be stuck in between the teeth. I'm going to oil the blade. Let it run a minute. This blade may be older. I don't think it is. It seemed like it was sharp. Depack my guard comb. Try again. Sometimes you just have to clean your blade. This is still a dirty coat. It's been a while since I've changed the blade on the Kenji Flash 5. So I'm going to try to keep this fair, and I'm going to put a brand new fresh blade on here. So this is a brand new Kenchi Flash 5 blade. I'm going to set it to a 10, but I am going to oil it just to be safe. Little drop there, little drop there, let it run. Wipe off all the excess oil. We're going to grab that same quarter inch guard comb that we used on the Joy Z Hornet. Slide it on the Kenshi Flash 5. See what happens. We're on speed 4. It's getting through a dirty coat just fine. These clippers are very lightweight. At the end of this video, I'm going to explain to you if they all perform well. I'm still going to explain to you the downside of putting all your faith and an adjustable blade clipper instead of just out of the gate going for the A5 style clipper. So stick around for that. Now let's move on to the Kenji Flash original. Purchase additionally is this 30 blade that is specific to the Flash. You must have it to use these guard cones. Seat that on there. We'll go on speed four like the Kenji Flash. And as you can see, this clipper can handle it as well. Now, I don't want to clip all of him. I want to save a good bit of this test. It's struggling back here. He's real thick right here. So I am getting some resistance. So I need to slow down and allow the hair to be fed into the clipper blade so it can properly cut it. So the Kenshi Flash original, doing okay. Coat's thick. This is a dirty coat, so this is a true test. So they all passed the test. They were all able to trim the dirty coat. I'm going to go back to the wall. I'm just going to keep switching between them. I'm going to do this side of Gus. This goes through, though, <laughs> differently. This goes through like butter. That's even on low speed. This literally goes through like butter. Do all the clippers produce smooth results? Yes, and I'm going to show you that at the end of the video when I'm trimming a prepared coat. This is great. I am keeping his legs full, so I'm only coming up to about here, I will be scissoring and blending that into the body trim. I'm just taking him down a little bit to cool him off in the summer on his body. So the Wall KM10, it, it just, it goes through like butter. Let's go back to the Joy Z Hornet. 
on high speed. It's two speeds. This is a dirty coat. I want to keep reminding you guys that. We will be doing a clean coat. I'm doing half of him. While he's not bathed, conditioned and dry, and the other half I'll do afterwards testing the same clippers. So I do have a style that I put on Gus. That's why I'm dropping off above the shoulder. I'm keeping these full legs. I'll be scissoring that. I'll be scissoring this so his chest looks nice and doesn't have these holes in. So I'm leaving this coat so I can scissor it. We're just testing clippers right now. So the Hornet, absolutely, can do it. Let's go back to the Flash 5. Yep, no problem. The KM10 detachable blade clipper definitely gives me no resistance. I feel a little bit of resistance, but this is a dirty coat. Let's see what happens when he's prepped right. So in all fairness, yeah, the A5 probably shined heavily on a dirty coat, which means it will definitely excel when the coat's clean too. So, but the question is, can these guys do it and do a good job? So let's get him in the tub. Let me wash him, condition him, dry him, brush him, and get him ready. And we're gonna do the same test on the other side. Gus is bathed, conditioned, brushed, and dried. Now we're gonna see how the clippers truly do perform. You have to be able to slide a comb all the way from the skin out. If you can slide the comb all the way through your dog, and as you can see, even in these long areas, I can do that. I'm going to be using a little technique called skimming here on his legs because I want to keep him in full legs. I can do a lot of the cheating work and save myself some scissor work with my clipper using a technique called skimming with my clipper. We'll start with the wall KM10 and the quarter inch on a clean coat. On high. This is a 10 blade underneath here. As you can see, it's, it's effortless. Honestly, there's no resistance in the coat. Very much effortless. All right. Now we're gonna switch over to the Joy Z Hornet, which is a 501 clipper set to a 10 blade with the quarter inch guard comb on it. On high. Again, it's nice. I'm not feeling resistance, but I'm feeling the need to go back and clean up areas. I feel like it's just not as smooth. It is not hesitating to go through the coat, but I'm feeling like I have to go back over it more often than I would with the Wall KM10, which is a detachable blade clipper, to make this nice and smooth. But it, it can do it. It can do it. And the coat has to be ready, as I explained earlier. Now let's go to the Kenchi Flash 5. This is set to four speed, has five, four is fine, kind of comparable to the Joy Z Hornet. And there is a slight difference in the blades between the Hornet and this. Let's take a look at these blades up close. This is the Kenchi Flash 5, this is the Joy Z Hornet. There is slightly differences in the angle of the blade too. I know it's hard to see on camera, but if you look at it yourself on yours, you would see that angle is slightly different than this. That can make differences. All these things can make differences. That's the difference of the teeth. They're similar. Here is the Kenchi Flash. Looks like the teeth are actually possibly closer together. No. It must be the angle. This one is hardly angled as compared to the Kenchi Flash. It looks like there's more of an angle here on this clipper. This is the Flash. This is our detachable blade clippers. 
there's definitely a difference in the spacing of the teeth with them, the hornet and the flash. So those little things could be what's making the difference of how I feel about the way they perform on my big doodle coat. There is a slight difference in the blades between the Hornet and this, and I feel like the Kenchi Flash 5 produces a little bit more of a smooth finish quicker than the Hornet. So in other words, I don't seem to have to go over it as many times with the Flash as I felt like I did with the Hornet. But I still do. It is still kind of, I do have to go over it. I'd say they're kind of comparable. Let's try the skimming technique. And finally, the Kenchi Flash, which is the original four-in-one clipper before the Flash 5 existed. We're going to put that quarter inch on there. Come here, Gus. That's set to a four speed. I almost feel like a, the Hornet, the Flash 5, and the Flash, I feel like the Flash is a little smoother. Maybe I'm delusional. I, I'm not. I'm not having to go over it as many times to make it smooth. In fact, I'm gonna go over the areas I clipped with the Flash 5 and the Hornet. It must be the blade on the Kenji Flash. They all three have slightly different blades. Maybe the teeth spacing is, is, is a little different and it's giving us slightly different results. All of them are capable, as you can see, but this Kenchi Flash is actually cleaning up the work from the Flash 5 and the Hornet. You can hear it. Right now, this one is winning as far as these three clippers go. But back to our detachable blade clipper, which is a powerhouse. I'm just skimming a little bit here. I love this clipper for that. So in other words, I'm not going all the way against his skin. I'm coming down, I'm creating a shape. This is called skimming. This does a nice job for that. We're gonna try skimming with all of them. We're also gonna shave a paw pad with each one. And I know each one is capable, but we're just gonna compare. So, wow, it's tough. It seems that the Kenshi Flash, which is the white clipper, and our detachable blade clipper, if we had to say, which one absolutely produces the best results? I would have to say it's these two. Which one's better? Let's do some skimming with this. So with skimming, my coat has to be standing out as it would if I was gonna scissor him because I'm just grazing a shape. I'm not really coming down against him. I'm kind of blending. The Kenchi Flash does a nice job of skimming, which is kind of blending and creating a shape. So I'm gonna do a little skimming here. So I'm leaving a little hair at his tuck up because I don't want him to look so, like he has a huge tuck up. And then I will have to do some scissor work to blend this in, but I can start it with a clipper coming straight down as if I was scissoring. This does a really nice job with skimming. 
as you can see. Stay, bud. Very nice. All right, let's skim with the Hornet. On high. Does a good job. Skimming is fine with the Hornet. I feel like I liked the Kenchi Flash better for skimming. which is just almost doing scissor work with my clipper. So this is stuff I would be doing to scissor Gus. I'm creating the shape. Good boy, Gus. Very nice. Stay still. And your dog has to be perfectly prepared for any skimming the coat. But you have to be able, it has to be clean, conditioned, blow-dried, in perfect shape. Slide a comb through it. Now you can go ahead and use a clipper on the coat. Okay, so that did a good job. The one thing I, I do not like so much about the Hornet versus, say, the Flash even, when I turn the Hornet on, I have to press and hold it. To turn it off, I have to press and hold it. The flash, I just hit the button. Turn off, I hit the button. I'm not, I don't like that. It's a new technology. It's not my preference. I kind of like that you, when you turn a clipper on, it's on. When you turn it off, it's off. I mean, time is valuable. When you're standing here for two seconds to wait for a clipper to shut off, sometimes you're like, I don't have two seconds. <laughs> I guess we do, but sometimes we feel like we don't. So we'll do some skimming with the flash. I feel like I like the Kenchi Flash 5 best for skimming of the adjustable blade clippers. It feels like it it really gives me the ability to be more accurate. I can do it just fine with, with these other clippers. Um, they're all capable of all of these tasks that I'm showing you. It's a matter of which one I feel I like better which one I would prefer, especially on a, a heavier doodle coat, which is what we're dealing with here today. Let's go back to skimming here with, this is the Wall KM10. Now this clipper's a little heavier. That may bother some people. It doesn't bother me because it's well balanced. I like skimming with this actually best. I feel like I have the most control because with skimming you need a lot of control. Let's turn Gus around. Come here bud. Come on over here. Good job. All right. Stand over here where we can see. Before I can skim I got to make sure I comb the coat out as if I was going to scissor it. There is a little tangle in there. See that guys? Woo because he's bathed and conditioned I can get that out easily. And I'm going to be skimming there, so I need it to be perfectly combed out. There's some snags. Okay, buddy. <laughs> you don't like that. I'm sorry. I do my best for you, buddy. And your slicker brush is, is going to get through them and break them apart really easily in a clean coat. Clean and conditioned. Good, Gus. That's much better. Let's go back to that Kenji Flash because I keep feeling like I like it, right? We're going to put the quarter inch guard comb back on that. <laughs> Every now and then you do have to depack your blade, which means to remove the hair clippings that get stuck in there. It'll affect your clipper work. 
That's normal. We have to do that periodically, many times throughout the same groom. Okay. Do a little skimming. Nice steady arm, just like I'm scissoring. I feel honestly, it must be the blade on the Kenchi Flash. It is slightly different. There must be a little bit more spacing between the teeth, just like on a A5 blade. But I feel like, boy, I really like this for skimming. And ultimately, I would say, it's between this and the Wall KM for both, for skimming, for performing clipper work. It gets, it grabs it quicker. I don't know what it is. It's a little bit hard for me to explain. Let's go back to the KM10. Yeah, it's definitely the KM10 and the Kenchi Flash when using guard combs. You can be using whatever size guard comb you want because of the length that I want for Gus, I'm choosing the quarter of an inch. It saves me so much scissor time. But I have to comb it out nicely first. That's really important. Let's go back to the Joyzy. You gotta give them all the same chance, right? There again, I push the button, nothing happened. I gotta hold the button. Okay. Not my favorite part of this clipper. Skimming is fine, I can do it. Nice and steady hand. Nice and steady dog too. Thank you guys, that's always important for having success doing a method like this. Now this is the side that we did pre-bath, so it's, it's a little, it needs touched up. Because after you blow out a dog, when they're dry and clean, the hair is gonna straighten out more. So you're always gonna have to go back over your work if you do pre-clipping. You have to go back over it after the bath. Joycey Hornet is doing a fine job. So if you have one of these clippers, guys, you can groom a golden doodle completely with guard combs and sanitary trimming with any one of these. It's a matter of, I'm saying which one I like best. Putting them to the test. Ultimate dog clipper test. That's what we're doing today. It's nice to do these tests. So when it comes down to go time someday, I can say, you know what? I've got this dog in here. I really liked the Kenchi Flash when I set the length with a quarter inch guard comb. I liked it for the skimming work. I'm gonna go for that one. You know, it's nice to do these tests. So, we'll do the Kenchi Flash 5 one more time, just to be polite. I liked all of them, but you can see there are slight differences in the blades on each one of these clippers. And that can make the difference of how the hair has been fed into the cutting edge of the clipper blade. That can make the difference. That could be the difference that I'm feeling. Yeah, they're all capable. They're all good clippers. If he were matted, I would prefer to just use my Wall KM10 with a seven blade, no guard comb, because the guard comb's not gonna get through a matted coat. So I would have no choice. When I say matted, I mean really matted, stuff that I can't just brush out. That's what I call matted. A mat here and there I can brush out and I can have a nice coat to work with. Yeah, so they're all capable. They're all capable of doing this. And we are going to shave a paw pad with each one just to show you so you can get a, a visual, but I can tell you right now, they're all gonna be capable. Some of them are more comfortable to the dog. Usually these adjustable blade clipper types. 
all three of them other than the wall cam. I tend to like using the wall cam 10 for paw pads, and I'm going to show you why. And it doesn't seem to bother the dogs, but if you're not careful and you're applying too much pressure, it can be a little uncomfortable to the dog. We're going to use the wall cam first to do this paw pad. And like I said earlier, guys, you have to brush the hair clippings from the teeth of the blade. Ten blade on all of them. I feel sometimes that this detachable blade type clipper, like the wall cam, moves the pad around a lot easier for me to just get right in there and clip that in a V shape. This way and this way. I feel it's faster. Let's try the Kenchi Flash 5 with a 10 setting. Now with these types, I feel like I gotta push, but I know they're a little more gentle to the skin, but I really feel like I gotta almost dig in there a little bit. Whereas with the KM10, I felt like it just naturally went right into that V shape for me and cleaned that pad out lickety split, which was nice. Did a better job than this. And the front pads, we're gonna go for the Joyzy Hornet on a 10 blade setting on high. It's a nice safe choice and yes it can do it but I feel like I gotta pick away at it a lot more. He is a little sensitive with his front feet just so you know. I just feel like the KM still did better than those two so now for the flash. And again this one seems to remind me of the other two adjustable blade clippers. I kind of got to dig in there a little bit. I mean, it does a good job. The dogs don't seem to mind it, but I feel like I got to dig in there a little bit. One more thing I want to do. I'm going to set the length on the top of his head. I am not using a quarter of an inch to set this. I like his head to have some nice little fluff on the top knot. I'm choosing to use a three quarter of an inch. This is for the adjustable blade clippers. This is for the KM10. So we'll start with the KM10 with a 10 blade. Very nice. Now we're going to go over to the Kenchi Flash with a three quarter of an inch guard comb. Does a nice job. Does a very nice job. All right, liked it, liked it. Let's let's go ahead and do the hornet. I'm gonna deep pack that blade a little. Give this a true test, right? Take care of our equipment. Mm, this one does a really nice job on the longer lengths. Very nice. So far, all three are perfectly capable with these longer lengths guard combs. And the Kenji Flash. Depack that blade. Slide her on there. Yeah. None of, I'd say there's setting the length on the top of his head. So if, if your dog minds clipper work around the face, Having an adjustable blade clipper may be the answer because there's less vibration and there's less noise. So I'd say these guys do great for face work. All three of these did a great job setting some length there on the top of his head. And so did our wall cam 10, to be honest. Moral of the story is, could you do a full groom with a dog? Good boy, Gus with any one of these clippers? Yes, especially after you've bathed, conditioned, dried, and brushed your dog thoroughly. Yes, full groom, paw pads, because remember these are adjustable blades. They can adjust to a 10 for the sanitary areas, the paw pads, and you can put guard combs over them. For the flash, this guy's a little different. You have to use a specific 30 blade to use guard combs with this clipper. 
and this is only a 30 blade. You cannot change it when the 30 blade is on. However, our flash clippers come with an adjustable blade. It's this that's an addition. So you have to purchase the additional 30 blade to use it for guard comb work. So I want to change the setting on this. I have to go back to the original blade on the flash. And now I can change that blade length setting. With this original blade that comes with it, I cannot use guard combs on that blade. They do not fit. See, they don't work. They don't work. This has to slide all the way down. But what I can do is purchase the optional 30 blade to give me the option to use guard combs with the Kenchi flash clipper. Now I can use guard combs. Because see what that does is it gives you this space so that the guard combs actually fit. See this spacer? This one doesn't have it. That's why they don't fit, but they do with the optional 30 blade. I will link everything for you guys per clipper below. Okay, so no worries. Because I get a lot of questions of people saying, can I do that with the Kenchi Flash? Can I do that with the Joyzy Hornet? Which one do you recommend? I recommend these two, one of these two, if not both. If you had to buy just one clipper, I'm usually always gonna tell you a detachable blade clipper because when it comes down to grooming matted heavy coats that are more of a challenge, we weren't looking at a real challenging matted coat today. This may not be my choice. I may be able to get it done, but I probably will not like the look of my results. I will with a detachable blade clipper. So if you're a pet groomer, you, you need this. You need this first before you ever go and buy an adjustable blade clipper. You need this one. And you can do everything with this clipper. Sanitary, paw pads, guard comb work, and switching out your blades for different lengths. These are a little more limited. Now I told you one thing that I was going to explain at the end of this video. Is what is the longevity on these clippers? These three clippers, the only thing that you can replace on these three clippers is the blade when it goes dull. And all blades go dull eventually from use. People say, how often, when will that happen? When does it go dull? A clipper blade goes dull depending on how much you use it and what is the coat type that you're clipping. Is it dirty? Is it not cleaned? Is it matted? Is it a heavy, harsh coat? And you're clipping a lot of those, your blade's gonna dull faster than it would if you were clipping nice, prepared, clean coats. And even then, if you're only clipping nice, prepared, clean coats, your blades will still dull after time because of use, just like a steak knife. You can use it to eat 100 steaks, but after that 100 steak, it's gonna to start to dull, okay? It's the same with clipper blades. There's no time frame as when they dull. When they start to dull, they don't wanna glide through the coat like butter. That's an indication, because you never wanna be in the middle of a haircut and your blade go dull, and it can happen like that. So you always wanna have a spare. If you have a Kenji Flash, have a spare blade. Joy Z Hornet, have a spare blade. 10 blade on a KM10, have a spare blade. When it goes dull, you have the spare. And when you grab the spare, at the end of your day, you order another 10 blade because you need that backup. I've used many clippers as a professional over 20 years. Once I put this clipper in my hand and the corded version, which is my turquoise wall KM10, I finally said, I have the right clipper. This is the clipper for me. The longevity of these clippers, these guys things can be replaced on these clippers and the motor is made for longevity. That's the differences of choosing a clipper like this, an adjustable blade clipper, or even the Wall Brevera, which is in the class of these three. Nothing can be replaced on those clippers. I will say that the Joy Z clippers, the Kenchi clippers, their battery life is outstanding and it holds the charge. So if you don't use it for a month, it's gonna hold that same charge as the last time you used it. That's pretty impressive. But that's technology, it's advanced, it has evolved. The construction of this is a diesel truck. It's heavy duty. And the construction of this, this is a little pin that moves the clipper blade. So there's differences. That doesn't mean that this guy isn't impressive, because he is. There you have it, that's my test. Gus says peace out, and we'll see you in the next video.